Hi everybody, my name is Caroline and in this video I'm going to do a basic setup and assembly of the Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus. I am using my Raspberry Pi 5 Active Cooler, the Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus, and a Raspberry Pi camera. I'm going to show you how I assembled this. I did a basic setup and I'm going to do a basic demo in this video. Now let's get started. Now we're going to do an unboxing. This is my Raspberry Pi 5 with the active cooler already installed. I installed this in a previous video. So if you want to see that, I will link to that. And then we also need our Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus. And yes, the price tag is still on here because I bought this at Micro Center with my own money. Here is the box for the Raspberry Pi AI Hat. And it does show that you do need to get to raspberrypi.com products slash AI dash hat. So we'll do that after this unboxing an installation and inside the box let's see you get the pins you'll get the spacers the standoffs and of course you will get the AI hat and here is the AI hat for this tutorial, you'll also need your Raspberry Pi camera. Any Raspberry Pi camera will do. And you also need the cable for your Raspberry Pi camera. This is a standard cable to mini cable. The Raspberry Pi 5 does use a mini connector for the camera, so you'll need that cable. I also recommend having a few screwdrivers. So this is a small Phillips head screwdriver that I will use in this tutorial. And then I also have a tiny flathead screwdriver that I will also use. And there is a cable to attach the Raspberry Pi AI hat to the Raspberry Pi. We'll take off this little sticker here that holds this little cable in place. And the cable will connect right here. Now I'm gonna take one of these short screws and then start adding all four spacers. So now I have all four spacers installed. These are gonna line up like this. Try not to bend the pins, and I do hold them on the sides and not just on top of my fingers. There we go. Now we want to line up the spacers, the pins, and you do want to get it through like that. You also want to make sure you've got this attached. Pull this up. There we go. It goes in there, and then we'll pop this in like that. That should give it a little tug. Now we want to install And that is the installation of the AI hat with the Raspberry Pi 5. Now let's take a minute to install our Raspberry Pi camera to our Raspberry Pi 5 with AI hat. The Raspberry Pi 5 does have two connectors for the Raspberry Pi camera. And to get to it, uh, you'll just need to lift up this little black piece here so that you can connect the wires. I'm going to use my tiny flathead screwdriver for that to lift that up. You want to connect it so that the golden leads are facing this way and you want to just slide that in in the Raspberry Pi 5. Slide the cable in all of the way. Make sure it is in there flush. Then push it down and then make sure you got it pushed down all the way and then push that little black piece to hold it in place all the way. And just give it a little tug to make sure it is in there. We are starting with a fresh copy of the Raspberry Pi operating system. And this is the default desktop. And we'll start off by opening up our web browser and going over to the product page for our Raspberry Pi AI hat, which is at raspberrypi.com slash products slash AI dash hat. And here is the product page. Now I've already purchased the AI hat. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to get to the specifications and documents section. There is the Raspberry Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus documentation. I'm going to click on that. That takes me over to this page, AI Hat Plus, and it gives you some instructions here. First, we are going to do a sudo apt update and full upgrade. Copy clipboard and open up a terminal, and we are going to run that command. And I ran it right before I started this video, so it should run pretty quickly. There, it's all done. Next, we want to ensure that my Raspberry Pi firmware is up to date. Copy to clipboard and go over back to the terminal. Yes, I am up to date here, excellent. 
and uh, now it gives you some instructions on installing the active cooler, which I did in a previous video. I'll link to that. And then it gives you instructions on how to install the AI Hat Plus. And we have installed the AI Hat. And now it says to get started with AI on my Raspberry Pi, I need to get to the getting started guide with AI Kit and AI Hat Plus guide. And I will click on that and then it will take me to this page where I'm gonna go through a hardware setup. We have installed a Raspberry Pi camera. We're going to follow the instructions to install the AI Hat Plus, which we have done. And then here's something that it says is optional, but highly recommended, enable PCIe Gen 3.0. Click on that tab, which will take me to this page where it says it's not certified, but recommended. And we can do so by updating the config file, which can be found in boot slash firmware. I'm gonna open a terminal command. And I'm looking for the directory boot slash firmware. So now I can see boot. So I'm now gonna cd boot slash firmware ls. And now I can see that config.txt file. Now I'm gonna sudo nano config.txt file. And now I am just going to paste that command that I need to add. Paste, enter. If I wanna use some good practices, I would add so that I can remember why I pasted that in there. Control X to exit. Yes, I wanna say modified buffer, right. And now I've updated my sudo nano config and I'll do a sudo reboot and I'll be right back. And we are back. We just completed our sudo reboot after enabling gen 3.0 speeds. And now we're gonna go back to our AI kit and AI hat plus software instructions. And now we're going to install the dependencies required to use NPU. Now we will run the following command, copy to clipboard, open my terminal, and I'm running the command install halo all. Yes, I want to continue, enter. And we have completed the installation. Okay, I do need to reboot my Raspberry Pi. I will uh, sudo reboot and then I'll be right back. And we are back from our reboot. Now we want to ensure everything is running correctly. Let's run the following command and I'll need to open up a terminal. Executing on device, identifying board, protocol version two, firmware version 4.20, AI hat plus devices may show NA for zero number, part number and product name. This is expected and does not impact functionality. Excellent. I can run a DMESG to check kernel logs. Let's check that out. And if I compare it to what I have over here, written successfully, firmware loaded successfully. Now let's see if the camera is operating correctly. I'm gonna copy the clipboard, go back to my terminal, and this is gonna test for 10 seconds. I don't need to test for that long. I'm just gonna test it for five seconds, hit enter, and the camera should come right up. And there is my camera. I've already put out three objects. Excellent, my camera seems to be working just fine. Next, we need to make sure we install the RPI cam applications. We're gonna need that for the next step. Copy to clipboard, go back to my terminal, enter. Excellent, and I have RPI cam apps it is already at the newest version, excellent. Now we're gonna do the first object detection demo they have for us. It's going to be YOLO version six and it's gonna use the RPI cam hello command, which is the one we just used previously to get the camera to open up. And then we are going to see if we can identify some objects with the YOLO version six. You only look once, that's what YOLO stands for. And I'm gonna hit copy to clipboard and then I'm going back to my terminal and I'm gonna right click and paste enter and let's see what the camera comes up with and uh, here we go so it identified my cup it identified an apple and a bird and that was this is a little penguin that is an identification of some objects now let's try some other objects here for example how about Now let's try out some new objects. I've got a little 3D printed mannequin there. Did not recognize that. I have a trophy of an apple. It's calling it a vase. It did correctly identify my wine glass. 
Now, if I move my action figure to the middle and remove the vase slash apple trophy, it does identify my little action figure as a person. It does sort of recognize my apple trophy, but it also thinks the leaf on top is a bird. And now for my favorite object identification uh, is my cat, Cosette. And it has identified my cat. Say hi. It also might be a dog too. Thanks for watching. This was a basic setup of the Raspberry Pi AI hat, plus with the Raspberry Pi camera. Please like and subscribe and turn on notifications if you would like to see future videos about the Raspberry Pi AI hat plus.